This one has the SPF 69.8. 69? Also, yeah. It's almost 70. What? It's Is that possible? To... So we actually made a video about verified sunscreens in our Style Korean channel. These are just a few of the sunscreens that we mentioned there. So if you're interested in looking for more, keep watching this video to find out more. The first product is from the plant base. Mm -hmm. It's the Dilipin Innocent Sun Cream. Okay. It's a hybrid one, mm -hmm. combination of chemical sunscreen with physical, physical. sunscreen. Mm -hmm. The major ingredient that they use is cactus extract, which helps to moisturize and vitalize the skin. So if you know the... Um, brand the plant based, you know, yeah. their major um, thing about their brand is having um, plant extracts instead yes. of water as their first ingredient. Mm -hmm. It also contains di titanium dioxide mm -hmm. and also zinc oxide, so the ethylic methyl. Yeah, we'll methyl mention it over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's too long for us to read, and we'll uh -huh. probably make a mistake reading it, so it's better just, for you to see it over here. Yeah. So, what SPF is this product? So, it's SPF 50 plus and also PA. Mm -hmm. Plus, you can plus. see the document here yes. as well. You will be putting somewhere this is here. The proof. <laughs> it has a little bit of like a skin tone color, so it doesn't really show any white cast in your skin mm -hmm. when you like oh, um, okay. rub it on your face. It's not sticky, and it also has a little bit like a citrusy like, scent. It smells so good. Right? It smells like a juice cocktail. Mm -hmm, yeah. Moving on to the next one is the VT uh, Essence Sun Pact. So this is a cushion type sunscreen and it's all over my TikTok. And I was so excited to try this and get the documents for this. Oh my gosh, guys, you have to see this. Ah, it's so pretty. It's Can you so see that? Pretty. So when you apply it on the cushion, it mm. has like a blue tint. But, but when you apply it, yeah, it doesn't show on your mm. skin. It has a bit of a white cast because it's a combination of a physical and chemical sunscreen. Mm. But it doesn't really leave big white casts. I think you can carry this around when you yeah. want to reapply your sunscreen. So you can apply it onto your skin like do you guys see a white cast? No. Her makeup is still perfect. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Another one that I tried is from Benton. So this is their latest one. This is the um, Airfit UV Defense Sunscreen. You mentioned it has an SPF 50, PA++++. And um, what is really, really great about this one is almost like a serum. Ooh. It's really, really light. So if you, can, you see the video now, I'm applying the Benton one on one side and the VT one on sun's the other side. You can see that uh, the Benton one doesn't have any white cast at all because it's a chemical, chemical sunscreen. I would have to give 10 out of 10 for this one. Ooh. It's really, really light. And when we applied it on our hand, yeah. it's like really, really... It's really cooling. Yeah, I was really shocked when I applied it. I was like, this is... This is cooling! <laughs> so the fourth and fifth one is from Haiji, or if you say it in Korean, it's Hige. We always debate on how we how call this name. It. <laughs> so the first one is the real sun cream, and then the second one is vegan, vegan sun so cream. For those of you who like vegan... If vegan sunscreen. is your thing, then you can take yeah. the sun cream, vegan sun cream. So it contains a good chemical ingre sunscreen ingredient, such as like Uvinol A+, Tinosorb S, and Uvinol T. 150 so it, it's really safe for your skin and it doesn't absorb the UV into your skin. I personally like this one because oh, really? it's really light. I feel like it's okay for you to you know mm -hmm. top it off again on, on top of your makeup. Yeah. Doesn't have a so, scent. I like this no scent scent. <laughs> so this one is proven to have an SPF of 53.1 mm -hmm. and also PA 20.94. Four. And the real sun cream is 55.7 SPF and a PA of 16.2. That's more than what is mentioned yes. on the packaging. But this one might have a little bit of a white cast since yeah. it contains the titanium dioxide. When you first apply it, but it absorbs into your skin and there's no white cast. Yeah. It's non-existent. <laughs> so we also have one from Some By Me. It's the True Sika Mineral Calming Tone Up Sun mm -hmm. Cream. This one is physical, so for sure it has white cast, but I feel like it just needs some time, but okay. it doesn't leave a white white cast, you know. Okay. It has the major ingredient of tea tree leaf water. As usual so, as their yeah, this, this line. line. Just the downside of this product is that it contains lavender oil, mm -hmm. which some people, some people might, don't, not might like. not like. Uh -huh. I feel like it's a good um, physical sunscreen because it's not as sticky as you know the other, other physical, physical sunscreen. sunscreen that's how it used to be. This one has the SPF which is really high. Um, 69.8. 69? Also, yeah. It's almost 70. I was so shocked when I read the document and it has a PF of 26. What? So is that possible? To, I know right? Okay, mentioning the next product. I can't wait to mention it. So this 
thing is one of my favorites. I can't say it for now because I don't use it anymore, but there's a reason why. We've been testing too many sunscreens. You guys can see like all of this. We've tested it before we filmed this video, yeah. so we've been testing a lot. Previously when COVID first um, you know, break up, mm -hmm. I didn't wear any makeup to the office yeah. because I was always yeah, wearing a mask, mask right? anyways. <laughs> I would always put on this and then some concealer under my dark spots mm. or dark circles and that was it. It would last the whole day. There's nothing to break down because basically it's a sunscreen, sunscreen. but it's also a toner cream so it balances out your skin mm. tone. But for those who have darker skin, I wouldn't recommend this. Like people who have tan skin, I think it will still be okay. So this is a hybrid. It contains titanium dioxide and zinc oxide and also ethyl salicylate, octocrylene, um, and blah, blah, many, blah. many more. <laughs> the SPF for this product came out to be 67.3 and the PA value of 18.331. They also released a new friend, so if you guys found that this was um, too white on your skin, this one is a chemical sunscreen and it's the Hotania Cordata Calming Sunscreen. The SPF test is 59.8 and for the PA test is 6. 18.9 and it contains Hautania Cordata which is a really good soothing ingredient and it really really helps with your um, skin conditioning. This one is more like a no makeup day. Yeah, no makeup, look makeup pretty, look. Yeah. Yeah, I have good skin, I have very good bare face. <laughs> this is actually really one of my favorite as mm. went through like three tubs of this. It's really really good. Yeah. The last one is from Suntik which is the I'm Pure Sika Sun Cream. Um, it's proven to have the SPF of 54.2 and also mm -hmm. um, PA plus. Plus plus plus. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, physical sunscreen because mm -hmm. it contains both zinc oxide and also titanium dioxide. Mm -hmm. What's good about this one is it doesn't contain any chemical ingredients, so okay. it's really safe for people um, with sensitive skin. Yeah, people mm -hmm. with sensitive skin, and it's also safe for children too. Oh use, wow! Right. If yeah. they tend to go out, you probably have to look for a sunscreen option for their skin because yeah. their skin is actually really weak. You should start using sunscreen from a young age. Yeah. That. <laughs> anti aging, you yeah. know, the best anti aging <laughs> product is sunscreen. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this video today. Yeah. And pick the right sunscreen. Yes, start applying sunscreens. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye! Bye.